Hey everybody, it's Pastor John. I've got your midweek moment for this week. And I thought we'd do something a little different this week. As you know, we're on the, we're ba- on the back porch of the church right now. And as you all know, the church is being painted, and right now the painters are taking their lunch. So since the building's empty, I thought we'd go in for just a minute so that you can see what the church looks like as it's being renovated and as it's being painted. So why don't you come along with me? So you can see we're in the back hall, and if you take a look around, I don't know if you can see this, but everything has been sanded already. Um, Some of the trim has already been repainted, as you can see around there. Um, The the doors have been taken off, um, and I think they're going to take those to a a remote location, and they're going to paint those and dry them and then bring them back and hang them. Um, They've got the paper down, of course, to protect the finish on the floor. Um, Now, why don't we just for a second, we'll we'll go into the... um, into the old choir room, so you can take a look at this. So we're in the choir room now, and you can see they've got all the ceiling fixtures wrapped, um, and they've started painting the trim. You can see it along the baseboards. But but what I want to show you in particular in this room are the walls. You will notice that the walls are all nicely plastered, and that is something that the painters have done for us, because when they sanded these walls, there were huge chunks of plaster that fell off the walls. I, in fact, I would imagine from about this point up to the, to the ceiling, there was probably more plaster off the walls than there was on the walls. So the painters have handled all of the replastering. They get it a, a very nice finish. And you, you can see, you can also see, I think, that they've started uh, painting um, around the trim at the, the top of the ceiling. And of course, the piano is all uh, properly wrapped to keep it to keep it nice and safe, as in the filing cabinet. So now here we are in the lecture room. Um, and once again, everything's been sanded, everything's been prepped. There have been a bunch of uh, surface cracks in the walls that have been plastered and that have been fixed. You can see that uh, the, the finish, uh, the trim pieces in this area have been taped off. They're, so they're getting, they're getting ready to paint here. I think they're, you, know, you can see trim, the trim painting um, along the crown molding at the top has been done. Uh, We've got a big pile of um, everything that couldn't go somewhere else. Um, There there are signs in here. Uh, The table that used to be in the choir room is here. Uh, Just everything basically that we couldn't move out of the building before they started painting, they just piled up and they covered it with the plastic to keep it safe. So why don't we come around over this way now and once again, you'll notice that all the, the ceiling fixtures have been, uh, have been taken care of and they've been protected. Oh, and there's some paint right there. You can actually see the paint that they're putting on the walls. So now here we are in the kitchen. Once again, you can see everything's covered, everything's protected. You've got the paper on the floor, the plastic on the cabinets. And I don't, it doesn't look like they started painting in here. Right, actually, maybe they painted the walls. Um, actually, you know what? Now that I look at the finish, maybe they painted everything in here. Um, so that, that's all for the kitchen. Excuse, I'll try to walk around the paint. And we'll go, now we'll go into the sanctuary. So here we are in the sanctuary. Um, as you can see, once again, everything that couldn't be taken out, that's the piano and a couple of the tables, they've been covered with a big piece of plastic. All of the floors have been uh, papered off, and that's for while they're painting, because um, in addition to painting the walls and the ceiling, they're also going to repaint the floors. So they've got this paper down to protect the floors until they're ready to paint. I think painting the floors is the last thing that they'll do. So if you come into the room a little bit further, One of the things you might notice is that all of the um, all of the shutters have been taken off the walls. And if you look here at this, this big wooden tray thingy, here's where the shutters all are. And once again, now that these are down, they've got an off-site facility where those are going to be sanded, they're going to be painted, they're going to be dried, and then they'll be brought back here to church. <coughs> they'll be brought back to church, and they'll be rehung after everything else is done. Um, you can see this is one of my favorite things about this is they, they left some notes around for people. Um, you might notice the windows, you remember the windows had 
um, the, the tags that indicated the people who gave, who gave the funds for the windows. And, and, and we have a, a sign here that tells the painters that they should not fill those holes so we can, we, we can replace those, those, uh, those tags once everything is done with painting. Let's see. Uh, once again, you'll notice um, all of the, the, the wall fixtures have been, have, been ta have been taped off. The speakers have been taped off. Um, you'll note the pipes, actually. Here's something interesting. This is something you may have never seen before. And that's what the organ looks like when the pipes are gone. Um, as, as I'm sure you all know, we've got a digital organ, not an actual pipe organ. So the pipes actually just sit in the cradle. They're for decorative purposes. And when the pipes are gone, what you see is some, um, well, you see a big pile of speakers. That's what you see, because those are the speakers uh, that produce the sound for the organ. And then, of course, you can see the organ console itself uh, is safely covered. The top of the pulpit has been covered. So they're, they're getting ready to paint in here. The plan is to finish the back of the church first, and then they'll come in here, and then they'll, they'll paint all of this. Um, in fact, that's what this big platform is for. This is going to hold the staging that they'll need to paint up to the ceiling. The plan is they'll start painting on this side, and once they're done painting over here, the plan is actually to take this platform and move it over there and put it on those pews and then to, face, then to paint that side of the church. And all I have to say is I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not the guy who has to move this thing. Um, so let's, let's go back. Why don't we take a, a walk up the uh, main aisle here. Once again, um, the, the carpet is covered. And of course, the carpet will, rem will remain covered throughout the painting program. Everything's been taken out of the pews. The pews are going to be sanded and completely repainted along with everything else. And to do that, what you've got here is you've got a big pile of book racks. Um, you can see the painters have taken all of the book racks off the backs of the pews so that they can, repaint, they can completely repaint the pews. And then when they're done, they'll simply reattach, they'll simply reattach the, uh, the book racks. And once again, you notice everything has been sanded, uh, getting ready to paint. One of the things uh, the painters noticed um, is that everything in this, this building was painted originally in oil paint. So when they repaint, they'll be repainting everything with oil as well. Then we've got our final stop. This is uh, the narthex, of course, to the front of the church. Um, so once again, the things that are not going to be painted have been brought out here, um, the benches, that the uh, singers have been sitting on, you know, various uh, chairs, all of these things are out here, um, because I, this, I think, will be the very last thing to get painted, is this, this entry area, and then everything that's in here will get moved back into the church. And then if you unlock the door, we can go back outside. And there you have it. Um, there's your, your tour of your church under renovation. Um, we won't have a midweek moment next week because I'll be on vacation. But when I'm back, I think the painters will be getting close to finished. So maybe we'll do one more midweek moment in the church so you can see sort of the end of that process. And then just a week or so after the painters are done painting, we'll be back worshiping in church. So that's something that we all have to look forward to. So, I hope you've enjoyed uh, your little tour of the church as it's being repainted, and um, I'll see you back again here in a couple of weeks. Thanks a lot.